A while back I saw a video on a fellow YouTuber's channel about what they called low noise propellers for the DJI Mini 2. So I got some. If you want to check them out then don't go away. Hey guys, Mike here and welcome back to the channel. So on a YouTube channel run by a fellow drone enthusiast, Blair, from YouTube channel Blair Air, Blair posted a video about a new set of low noise or stealth propellers he got for his Mini 2. After reaching out to Blair, he told me where he got them, which was a company called Master Airscrew, based in California. I'll put links to Blair's channel and the video he made, and links to the Master Airscrew website and the Mini 2 stealth propellers in the description below. Master Screw offer a wide range of popular options for a wide range of drones, as you can see on the website here. So I jumped online and had a look and couldn't resist but to pick up a set of these bad boys myself. And happy days, they've finally arrived to me in lockdown here in Auckland, New Zealand. So in this video I'm going to try them out and tell you what I think of these propellers. First of all, let's have a look at a few claims on the website because there's a few things that these propellers offer that are actually more than just being a bit quieter. First up, and well it does relate to the sound, and they claim that the propellers are 2 decibels quieter than the stock propellers that come with the Mini 2, which result in a less disturbing flight and noticeable decrease in sound pitch. Now the main thing I liked the idea of in terms of getting low noise propellers was to attract less attention. The Mini 2 is not too bad in that regard anyway, but anything to make it even less obvious would be welcomed. Now bear in mind I don't have any instruments that will allow me to measure this scientifically, so I guess you'll just have to take my word for it when I show you. Blair did mention that he definitely noticed a lower pitch, which would contribute to the lower noise I reckon, so I'm definitely keen to show you that. The next thing they say the new propellers contribute to, which I didn't expect, was a longer flight time. They say you get up to 3% longer flight time compared to the stock propellers due to improved blade efficiency. Now this translates to about an additional 1 minute of extra flight time, which doesn't seem much, but hey, it all helps. Next they say you get more power, which will improve performance in sport mode and in high altitude flights. Now I don't know the science behind this, but I guess if the propellers are more efficient that they must be able to give you a slight boost in power as well. I'm not sure, but hey, I was just after less noise, so I'll take this as an unintended benefit. They also say that you get improved safety due to the bright colours of the propellers, which give better visibility and enhanced navigation with enhanced situational awareness. Now that's probably stretching it a little bit, but having said that, they do come in a range of bright colours including red, orange and blue, although I went for the black. Not sure how much enhanced situational awareness they're going to give me. Master Airscrew also say that they're more durable due to the specially selected geometry and composite polymer material. So I guess that means they're a slightly different shape and they're made out of a special plastic? Not sure. Anyway, the point is there's lots of benefits for buying these propellers over and above what you probably bought them for, and that's lower noise. So in the box you get one full set of propellers, a screwdriver and eight screws, one for each propeller. The propellers themselves are ever so slightly longer than the original DJI propellers, and they have a gloss and shine to them which I suspect will reduce air resistance which would contribute to them being more efficient. Now I'm not going to subject you guys to the full process of replacing the old propellers with the new ones, but suffice to say it was a pretty simple process, you just have to make sure you match up the right blades. In the same way that the original propellers have lines on some and not others, and you match those with a motor that has lines underneath. Now these work the same way, it's a bit hard to see on my video, so here's a picture from the Master Airscrew website that shows it much more clearly. I must admit, I've never ever taken the propellers off the Mini 2, or had any reason to replace a propeller, so I was a little bit nervous taking these off and replacing with new ones because I'm sure the original screws have some sort of Loctite on them or something like that. I could be wrong, but as a result I will most likely be checking the tightness of the screws on these ones before every flight, until I'm confident they aren't going anywhere. So with all that done, let's get this bad boy up in the air. Okay guys, so here we are in uh, one of my favourite places to fly the drone, it's the Mangamangaroa Valley here in Auckland. And uh, we're going to give these low noise propellers a bit of a go. Beautiful day here today. Um, just check my UAV app and it's a really, really light breeze, like eight kilometers. I don't think I've seen it that low. Um, so perfect conditions, so we won't get too much interference from any breeze or wind or anything like that. Yeah, so let's, um, let's get the drone up and uh, see how we go. Okay, so we're all set. I've also got the 32ND filter on the DJI Mini 2. So uh, whatever footage we get here today, just bear that in mind. And uh, right, let's get it going. <laughs> now, it's gonna be hard for you to hear this, but I haven't even taken off yet, obviously, 
but it is definitely quieter. It, it just at this stage, like if I was standing like five feet away, I could I could probably not even hear it. I mean, I can barely hear it now. I've got a microphone here. I'll get it close. Like it is super quiet. So let's let's get the drone up. Okay, that is definitely quiet. Blair was right, it is definitely like a lower pitch and that's contributing to a lower noise overall. I'm probably standing about three feet away from it. The microphone is, is dead level with the drone itself. So you're picking up probably the maximum volume that you can. Um, it is super, super different. I know it's really hard to tell but just me saying it but it's definitely quieter let me bring it back a little bit closer to me okay it's definitely quieter definitely quieter right I'm going to take it out there and uh, we'll see how long it is before I can't hear it It's literally probably 10 meters, 10 meters up and about, I don't know, 40 meters away. I can't hear it. So we'll just take it out down the valley for a bit. But man, oh man, that was definitely quiet. I like, I know it's a different sound when it's actually hovering and actually moving, but just sitting on that post there with the propellers going, it was noticeably quieter than you know any other time that I've, I've flown the drone. It was like whisper quiet. And I know like it's not all about just how quiet the drone is when it's sitting there, it's all about when it's flying, but you know, if it's gonna be quieter there, it's gonna be quieter in the air as well. And it definitely is. Um, Blair was right, it's definitely a lower pitch and that probably contributes to, um, to the lower noise. But man, definitely quieter, definitely quieter. Oh man, what a lovely day. Getting out there now, 500 meters, full signal, no problem at all, gorgeous. Now, I'm probably gonna put the mocker on myself, but um, one of the things that did worry me about it, changing the propellers is, you know, I guess you don't wanna put the screws in and out too many times, because maybe they do get a bit looser over time, I don't know, but I had this horrible thought of, uh, of the thing just like dropping out of the sky. Silly, I know, I know. I mean, I tested the screws again before I took off and they're fine but I probably will just check them before most flights, I think. Wow, beautiful day. 700 meters out there. I didn't have a completely full battery, so I'm down to just under 60% now. So I might just spin it around and bring it back. All right, about 200 meters out. We'll bring it in and um, you can listen to it hover again. Still can't hear it. It's close and I can't, yeah, I can just hear it now. Quiet man, it is quiet. Quiet. Super quiet. Well, I guess it's a relatively unscientific test, but I gotta say that was definitely different. I mean, you're never gonna get them silent. That's just silly, but that was definitely quieter, definitely quieter. So well, more to talk about, more to talk about when we get back to the studio, but um, first outing, super impressed super impressed well done master air screw for the price can't go wrong really can't go wrong Alrighty. so back here in the studio for a vinyl verdict 
Overall, I'd have to say that the propellers did what they said on the box. They are definitely more stealthy. Now, I know it's a bit unscientific to say, but I've flown the Mini 2 enough to know that when it took off with these propellers on, to me, there was a noticeable difference. The pitch was definitely lower, which I think contributed to the overall noise level being lower as well. Normally when I fly and there are other people around, I get the drone up higher as quick as possible because even at a relatively low altitude, it's quite hard to hear. So I'm very keen to see what happens the next time I fly this around people to see if even fewer people notice it. As for the other claims that Master Airscrew makes about the flight time and the power, it's actually very hard to say. The claims they make relate to very, very small improvements in these areas. And there's always so many other variables at play every time you fly, like the weather, wind conditions, battery level, the age of your battery, and all of that stuff. So it's very hard to make a judgment call on whether or not they're right. Having said that, I'm sure they've done thousands of tests in controlled environments to measure these things, so they're probably true. One thing I did notice was that when I screwed the new propellers on, some seemed to move very freely, like the original DJI propellers, and some seemed a little stiff. But when I fired it up, the strength of the motor had no problem spinning them, and it didn't seem to be a problem. I've seen some reviews where people took a blade and scraped the screw hole, scraped the hole of the propeller ever so slightly to ensure they move freely. However, it didn't seem to be a problem. Now, I'm going to leave these on my Mini 2. I don't see any reason to change them. And if you're looking to try these out yourselves because you want lower noise propellers, then I'd definitely recommend picking some up. And whilst I think the black ones are very cool, I'm a little bit on the conservative side, as you can probably tell. So on reflection, maybe I could have gone for something a little cooler, like a coloured set, just to bling up the Mini 2 a little bit. But having said that, I'm really happy with the black ones and how they look. But it's good to have the choice of different colours to choose from if that's what you're into. Now I've been doing a few tests with the Mini 2 lately, including an urban range test to see how far I could get it before I lost signal in an urban environment, and a speed test to see if I could get the Mini 2 to match the speed claims made by DJI. So check out these videos and I'll see you over there. Cheers guys.